Today we have a heart-wrenching story that will make you question the depths of human depravity. It's a tale of Angela Samoda, a 20-year-old electrical designing and software engineering understudy at Southern Methodist College in Dallas, Texas, who was mercilessly killed in her own home in 1984. Angela's case remained unsolved for two decades until her best friend, Sheila Wasaki, took matters into her own hands and relentlessly pursued justice for her friend. Today, we bring you the incredible story of how Sheila's persistence and dedication solved the 20-year-old cold case of Angela Samoda's murder. Angela Samoda's murder shook the Southern Methodist University community in 1984. She had a breathtaking future before her as an electrical subject matter expert and PC specialist, but her life was mercilessly halted. On the night of October 12, 1984, Angela went out with friends to the state fair and a nightclub before returning to her apartment. At 1.45 a.m., she called her boyfriend, Ben McCall, in a panicked state, reporting that a strange man was at her door requesting to use her phone in the restroom. She abruptly hung up, and when Ben tried to call her back, she didn't answer. Concerned, Ben went to her apartment, and there was no answer. He then called the police, who broke into her apartment and found her nude, bloody, and brutally stabbed. The viciousness of the attack and the several stab wounds led authorities to suspect a personal motivation. Angela's autopsy revealed that she had been sexually assaulted before being murdered. Police recovered DNA from her body, rape kit, and fingernail skin. But in 1984, DNA evidence was not yet admissible in court. The case eventually went cold, and it seemed like Angela's killer would never be brought to justice. But one person refused to give up. Sheila Wasaki, Angela's best friend, was devastated by her friend's murder and quit college to find out what happened. She became close to the main investigator and would meet him for drinks at local pubs to discuss the case and see whether the police were making progress. She even invited him to her 1988 wedding, four years after Angela's murder. After marrying and starting a family, Sheila moved to Tennessee, but she could not leave Angela's history without discovering who killed her. In 2004, Sheila had a vision of Angela while doing Bible study work. She saw her dearest friend from 20 years ago, and this encounter encouraged her to hunt down the person who had abducted her close friend. She called the Dallas Police Division to resume the case, yet subsequent to getting no reaction, chose to turn in a confidential specialist and examine the case herself. Following quite a while of harassing the police, they at long last resumed the examination. Sheila met with a new female investigator, Linda Crum, to discuss the inquiry. She was surprised to learn that the police still had the DNA evidence and suggested that Dallas police obtain DNA testing. The DNA was analyzed in 2008, and the following year, Linda gave Sheila the news that she had been anticipating by calling her and saying, got him. It was determined that the person responsible for Angela's death was Donald Best, a serial rapist who is now out on parole after serving 25 years in prison for aggravated rape and kidnapping. In 2010, he faced a new trial, and this time he was found guilty on the basis of Angela's DNA match. Best history of violence against women was established by the testimony of several women who claimed that he had sexually assaulted them. On June 8, 2010, Best was put to death as a result of the DNA match with Angela. Sheila had always intended to give up her career as a private investigator after the investigation was finished. Sheila Wasaki was able to solve the unsolved murder case of her closest friend, Angela Samoda, which had been a cold case for the past 20 years, after years of hard work and perseverance. Her story is truly persuasive, and it accentuates that it is so essential to never quit any pretense of attempting to look for equity for people who have been hurt somehow or another. However, the developments that have occurred in forensic science as a result of this case also make it noteworthy. It is a testament to how far we have gone in the area of forensics that DNA evidence that was taken in 1984 was still retained and accessible to be examined in 2008. This led to the identification and conviction of the person responsible for Angela's murder. It likewise fills in as an update there are numerous other virus cases out there ready to be settled. Crafted by policing private examiners like Sheila in basic and carrying conclusions to families and companions of casualties and in guaranteeing that a fair consequence is given. 
The story of Angela Samoda's murder and its eventual resolution through the persistence and dedication of her best friend Sheila Wasaki is a powerful reminder of the importance of seeking justice for victims of crime and of the progress that has been made in forensic technology. It likewise features the urgent job that private specialists can play in addressing cold situations when policing is unfit or reluctant to do as such. Let us honor Angela's memory by continuing to seek justice for all victims of crime and by never giving up hope that even the oldest and coldest cases can one day be solved. Thank you for watching.